Hi, everybody. It's Sandra. Welcome to part two of my showstopper necklace collection. Here are some of my favorites. Be sure to let me know below what your favorites are. Subscribe to the channel if you want. I just hit 10,000 subs. Very, very exciting. Big thank you to everybody who's a subscriber. Let me know what your favorites are. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to, and I will get going right now. I'll be right back. I'm just getting over a cold, so sorry my nose is a little bit stuffy. Hopefully my voice isn't too annoying. I actually feel fine now, but it is going around, So, but I'm on the mend. This first necklace is one of my favorites, for sure. You can see why. This is by Antonio Reyna. Uh, Antonio Reyna, he was a, a designer from Taxco, which of course is a town in Mexico, I got this at an amazing price at a kind of, um, it's kind of a vintagey antique store and their jewelry is really overpriced, but I got this one really at a, at an, at an amazing price. I also have the matching earrings. This is very, very heavy and I love the amethyst. I love the whole modernist look to this. Let's put it on the neck. Isn't that amazing? And it's kind of funny to me that these people would be selling this jewelry, so much of it overpriced, and then this so severely underpriced, which is great. And sometimes when I go to a store and I see that people have things overpriced, sometimes I wonder, like, maybe I'll be able to get a bargain because they don't know. They don't know what the correct prices are for things. One of my favorites for sure. Very, very heavy. This is a true work of art by a master craftsman in Taxco, Mexico. So happy to have this as part of my collection. I love both of these necklaces. The colors are gorgeous. It's so cool that I have two of them. These are both Trafari, believe it or not. I don't know if I could find any like it. I have kind of looked before, done a, a search for them. I can't find these exact necklaces, but everything is glass. You can see that's like crackled. I've also heard that called blasted glass. I think that technique is when the glass maker has the glass really, really hot. I think you immerse it in cold water and that's what happens. Also some beautiful crystals. Some Aurora Borealis, some are not, or are they? Yeah, I guess they all are. Okay. And I made them different lengths, but there's the Trafari signature. No crown, no copyright. Those are some of the best Trafari necklaces I've ever owned. I love them both. I love vintage crystal necklaces, and this one I think has a lot of personality because of these things in between. I think the shape of bead is called a bicone, but what I really love about this one is the tassel. I have never seen this type of necklace with a tassel before. Isn't that pretty? All AB crystals. So this one is probably from the 50s or 60s. I love tassels, anyhow. That's really interesting in that it's a a glass one. Oop, am I going out of focus? A little bit, right? That actually looks pretty like that. <laughs> All right, let me fix my focus and we'll move on to the next one. My mother found this beautiful check glass necklace at a yard sale years and years ago. I think she paid two or three dollars for it. And look at that huge fatal flaw here. It's missing its bead right there, its glass thingy. And I think it's also additionally missing some of these dangles, which is such a shame. It's still a beautiful piece. I'm sure I would never be able to get that replaced. Something could be put there. Not by me. I'm not clever enough. And I don't think I have any old stones that would fit in there. I certainly don't have any that are that color. 
it's so beautiful. It really is just a shame, but that's probably why this person was selling it in their yard sale. Let's put it on the neck and we'll see how it looks. It's beautiful, even with that missing part, isn't it? I think it is. That's why I haven't sold it, really. I kind of love it. Yeah, I'm missing some other stuff. Still beautiful, though. Gorgeous. That almost looks like a crown, doesn't it? Pretty one. This old necklace was a thrift store find. And I think it's a wonderful find. I love that barrel clasp. I love all of this glass. It's very heavy. And this is beautiful art glass. I love the shapes too. Not signed. I love the shade of green. It's, it's very bold green. And here's what it looks like on. I think this is interesting. I've never seen one like it. It's very chunky. The glass is big. It's heavy, too. That one is very different. That's a neat piece. This Riviera necklace was also a thrift store find. And this was a thrift store that I went to one day. I don't usually go there because things are overpriced. And they had a wall set up where they had a lot of, I don't know if it was cork board or something like that. And they had all these necklaces and they, I think they were $6 each or $8 each or way too much for what the necklaces were, like a lot of dollar store items and so on. And then I saw this one. I have to um, fix this so it lays right. Hold on. That's why I think it is worth it. Every once in a while, I do go into some of the thrift stores that are on my blocked list, if you will, because people just don't know what they're doing. Some things are overpriced. This was underpriced. This was just stuck with the other necklaces. I think I'm lucky because it's not signed. If it was signed, it wouldn't have been there. It would have been overpriced like their other signed pieces, but this was just with their other junk. Got a little bit lucky. I love this color and I love this necklace. It's a beautiful piece. I have two other necklaces that are similar to this that I showed in part one. This is actually a different one. I think this one might be sterling. I, I have to figure that out and make sure that I make a note of that. This is beautiful. Look at it from the side. Those are roses, I guess. Isn't that beautiful? I got this. I believe this was part of a jewelry store haul that I did a bunch of videos on. It is beautiful. And I think I did eventually recoup all my money from that too. And then I was able to keep the pieces that I really wanted to keep. Like this one, for example. Beautiful vintage piece. I believe I got this pretty necklace in an auction. That's what I think. Oh, I think I put it on here wrong. It's kind of messed up, but oh, there it goes. I think that's better. And I think this was the one where my mother said this looked like chewed gum. <laughs> I think. I love it. I love the, the, um, the chain color. It's kind of got that brassy look to it. It probably is brass or some sort of an alloy that has brass in it. I think these glass beads are very interesting. It's nice and long too. You see, I had to double it up. And I can't remember if this is the one or if this is the one that my mother said looked like chewed gum. But let me put it on here together. It's probably this one, right? And I think this one also was an auction find. I think that's very pretty glass. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think it looks like chewed gum. See, she's ruined it for all of us now. Thanks, Mom. Oh, look, it has tassels too, which I love. No, I'm only kidding. It does look a little bit like chewed gum. I love it. I love both of these necklaces. What do you think? They look pretty together, actually. I like to layer necklaces. Does anybody else do that? 
kind of too long for this neck, but you get the idea. Pretty colors too. I don't have many gold pieces, but oh, I love this. This looks Edwardian. It's 14 karat gold and diamond. I love the setting on this. How delicate. Look at that. It didn't come on this chain. I don't remember where I bought this. I may have bought this at an auction. If so, it was not part of a lot. I would have bought this separately, and I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't a good price. I don't know if this is going to show up on the neck. Let's try it. My camera gets funny sometimes with this black. Let's see if I can show you. Sort of. Yeah, I guess that's good. I love the movement that it has. I love how delicate it is. It's a beautiful piece. I love this necklace because it's fun. This is more modern than a lot of the other ones. This is likely from the 50s or 60s, maybe. Uh, maybe 70s even. I'm not sure. I really like it, though. I love how bold the red is. Nice kind of tomato-y red. Not real silver or anything. Strictly costume. I think these beads are plastic. I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah, this is weird. I wonder if this tells us who it is. Does anybody know what that is? Perhaps that's the maker's, like, thing. Their signature, if you will. What do you think about that one? I bet you some people won't like this one. I really dig it a lot. Those beads are glass. I thought they were plastic, but I was wrong. Look at this beautiful old briolette. This was a yard sale find, I think. I think. I have another necklace that I got at the same sale. This says gold filled, but who knows if the, um, sorry about my focus. Jeez, I don't know what's going on today. Um, but who knows if it originally came on this chain. It may have. Maybe it didn't. Isn't that pretty? I actually love that it's this simple. I love that there's not a, a fancy thing on top. Like there's not a fancy cone. It's really just showing this beautifully faceted piece of glass. I believe this necklace was bought at the same yard sale. Necklaces were a dollar or something like that. So very lucky day. In fact, my, uh, my mom was with me and I believe this was the sale where we were looking at the jewelry and the woman came up behind us and actually reached through both of our bodies and was like grabbing jewelry out of the, out of the box, which I don't know, <laughs> a little bit too aggressive. Like, dude, really? We're both standing here with our hands in the jewelry, but oh well, some people, you know, no class, no class. Look how pretty this is. Look at the flowers. Beautiful. This is a beautiful antique. Lovely. I love this pendant, and it does test for silver. Now, there are some shenanigans here. I'll show you what I mean. Right there. Can you see? What somebody did is they, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know why that just fell off, but this thing right here, somebody just put that on there. That doesn't belong on there. And I was sort of thinking about taking it off and then having a jeweler like fix it somehow. I don't know how, I don't know what you would, how did this originally hang? Do you think, or how was this originally put on a chain? I'm not really sure. And this is the chain it originally came on. I guess it just came undone. This is beautiful. These are glass, of course. How pretty is this? I love it. Those of you who have been following my channel for a while may remember this. Well, you may remember many of these necklaces. 
but I was at an estate sale and this woman lost her mother who was 90 something. And she was addicted, I guess, to buying jewelry on QVC and HSN. Now I sold almost all of the pieces. I still have a few left and I have some on my eBay page too. But this turquoise necklace I kept for myself. I love this. I love how the turquoise is flat. I mean, not super, super flat, but flat. And it is a J King or desert, desert rose trading. And that's magnetic. So it's very easy to put on and take off. I really enjoy wearing this. I think this is gorgeous. It's plain, but I think it really packs a punch. This necklace is from that same yard sale. Somebody really loved this color. And this is supposed to have this kind of latticey, lacy looking stuff back here. And it's, it broke, I think. It's just sort of broken away. I love the chain on this one. Look at the chain. How pretty is that? Wow. This one will definitely look better on the neck, I think. Let's see if I can get it all to go the right way. Look at that. Wow. It's so pretty. I love the link and then these, the rhinestones. How pretty. Hopefully that's all going the right direction. Yeah, it is. Well, sort of. I guess I put it on a little bit crooked. Isn't it beautiful? Lucky yard sale find. It's a beautiful chunky pendant. I love it. This one is glass, and now I'm wondering if it's not crystal. Hmm. Do you see any bubbles? I don't. I don't know. Well, I will I will test it for that. It does look rock crystal-y, doesn't it? Don't remember where I got this one. It is gorgeous, though. Wow. That must be rock crystal. What do you think? I suppose we should check, right? Let me get out my gem tester. Now I'm really, really curious. How different? That's beautiful. Wow. Let's just check it out and see if it's glass or rock crystal. I'm really not sure. If it's glass, it will just stay in that red zone. If it's quartz, it will go up here to this lowest line. Let's see what it is. Oops. It's glass. Okay. I was just curious. It's very beautiful. Look at the way it reflects everything. It picks up the color. That's amazing. This necklace was part of a recent auction haul. I love old fashioned necklaces like this. I don't know if that's art glass or some sort of agate or something. Somebody will know and tell us. Looks like a stone or two might have broken in its life. I love that it has the pin too. Let's model this one on our neck. Isn't this pretty? Yeah, I guess, I guess some of these broke through the years. Doesn't bother me. I actually like when a piece is vintage and it looks vintage. It has a little bit of character. You could probably just fix that, like tie that tighter and close that gap. I don't know how to do that though. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I love this one. Do you? I think it's really special. I love my Bakelite cherries. I got this at a yard sale. Believe it or not, it wasn't that long ago either, probably five or six years ago. Couldn't believe it. I always wanted this necklace. I was going to buy it on eBay at, well, several different times. And then I found it. I couldn't believe it. This really was something that I have wanted for a long time. You may notice on the stems that it has some, that's just paint. And some of the paint has 
chipped away or broken away through the years. That is common with these. But believe it or not, it comes with its matching brooch. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love this so much. I love this so much. Let's take a look at what the finding looks like. There it is. The Bakelite parts itself, the cherries and stuff, very beautiful condition. Wow. I think she sold me these, both of them. I can't remember. It was under $10, probably under $5. This is like hitting the lottery to me. Lucky find. And for the very last piece, it is this incredible 1920s necklace. This necklace, I'm obsessed. I am actually obsessed with this piece. I think we established that this is rock crystal. We're going to give it a test in a second just to make sure. I didn't see any markings. This is a very high quality thing. It's beautifully made. It's in fantastic condition. But this is what is amazing is this back part here in the 1920s this was a fashion trend where you would have a bare back and this back part of the necklace would go down your back and i think i can't remember is this removable i think it might be i kind of don't really want to open and close it very much i should actually test this for sterling I and mean, it doesn't matter it certainly doesn't matter to me but before we put it on our neck, let me just um, remind myself if this is rock crystal. I'm pretty sure it is. All right. I think we already established that it is rock crystal. Let's just double check. Oh, tell me this isn't working. Let me um let me get something that I know is real and we'll do a test on it just to make sure. This white gold ring is topaz. So let's use this as our testing. Oh, come on. Another broken one? Ugh. All right. I have two others, uh, but they're not here. I'm pretty sure we tested this in its rock crystal. Anyway, let's put it on our neck. This these things disappoint me. They really do. Now that's got me wondering if that other thing, that other necklace is rock crystal, because I, I do think it is. Oh, let me um let me fix this. Hold on. Is that amazing or what? It really is. Let me focus it in. There it goes. Wow. This seems like it's it's been barely worn too, and there is that glorious back. Oh, Yep, obsessed. Obsessed is the only the only word here. I'm not sure that is focusing right. Let me take it off again. And the other thing is, I feel like the camera in general is not really capturing is not really capturing how amazing this is. Wow. Well, this one is is my favorite for sure. But I love every necklace I've shown you for different reasons in its own way. Please let me know what your favorites are. Thank you so much for coming to part two. If you didn't check out part one, please do so if you want to. And subscribe to the channel. All right, it helps me out. Well, love you guys. Thanks again for coming. I'll catch you soon, all right? Be well until then. Bye-bye, everybody.